everyone, my name is Merrick and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Speedy Bandolier 25 and my experiences with the bag so far. I'll give you a general overview and whether or not I think it's worth adding to your collection. So this bag is the Speedy Bandolier 25 from Louis Vuitton in the Damier Urban canvas. This is a coated canvas material and a treated leather handles and strap. And it is an absolutely fantastic bag. So I've had this bag for about six months. And before I bought this bag, I went to YouTube and I watched every single video I could find talking about this bag and whether or not the person who was doing the video thought it was a good purchase, a good bag, if they were happy with it. And I thought, you know, I love this bag and I'm, I want to do a review on it to help you guys out too. So this is the Speedy Bandolier 25 and 25 just means it's 25 centimeters along the base. It comes in multiple different sizes, a 25, 30, 35, and I think even up to 40. Um, but I went with the 25. Um, for reference, I'm about five foot four, um, and I think that this fits my frame perfectly. One of the biggest benefits of having this bag in Damier Urban is that it's very carefree. So this leather is treated. The untreated leathers, you can get water spots and all sorts of things like that. This is actually very hard wearing. I've had this bag for over six months now, and honestly, it still looks brand new. So first of all, whenever you get this bag, it comes in a beautiful orange box and dust bag, um, just like this. Um, and you're kind of probably wondering, like, how on earth does this bag fit in this dust bag? Well, it actually comes like this, so completely flat. Um, and so all you do is you just pull open the bottom, and then there you go. It's already popped out to its full capacity. It also comes with a lock, um, so it is sort of like luggage, so when you see the two zippers come together and then you can flip one over the side and then you would put the lock right here and that would keep your belongings completely um, safe. Um, I never do that um, because I just, I don't, um, but the lock comes in its own little dust bag which is just adorable and it comes with the lock which I actually still have it in its little case and then the keys also come with it separately so I don't use this on the bag I know I've seen some people um, put it on the d-rings on the side I've seen some people use it like on these metal parts here and then some people leave it just hanging off of the zipper i don't have it on there just because um i don't but i think those are perfectly cute options if you're if you're wanting to do that it's called the speedy bandolier because it comes with a strap so there is a regular speedy that only comes with the top handle um, and then there's no strap and that has just some little pull tabs on the side and you just hold it top handle like this um, i'm a crossbody and shoulder bag kind of girl so i wanted to have the shoulder option so I went with the Speedy Bandolier. It does cost a bit more um, when you add the strap, but for me it was worth it. The strap, of course, is separate. And all you do for that is just pop it on the sides and then, you know, pop it on the other side. And there you go. Super easy. As you can see, there's a buckle here. There's actually a third section of the buckle um, so you can buckle it in and add length to it. Currently, I just have it like this because I've been kind of carrying it like a shoulder bag instead of doing cross body, because um, I've just found that that is kind of easier for me. So this little guy has been kind of left to the side. One of the biggest complaints um, that when I was researching where I bought my bag is that people say that this opening is really small and hard to get in and out of. I haven't really found that to be so difficult. Um, 
it is a little bit narrow but I don't find that I'm like causing myself to get cuts or scrapes on my hands or anything um, and I don't use a large wallet so that's another thing I just use a little card holder and that's really easy to get in and out so this bag is one big piece of canvas so there's no seams at the bottom and there's no feet um, and then on the sides you have your cutout piece with the leather strip um, for the bandolier strap and there is on each of these little grommets it has Louis Vuitton uh, maybe there is a little string there um, it, it says Louis Vuitton it says Louis Vuitton on um, the clasp and also um, on the zipper so the zipper you just pull it open like this and then that is the opening of the bag so as you can see the inside is the beautiful red fabric lining and there is a top zipper compartment um, it's pretty big it's big enough I'd say to put in you know some hair ties I usually put hair ties in there and then um, you know my lipstick if I don't have my bag organizer in there that way I can just easily grab and go it's not big enough to fit your phone um, but usually that's pretty easy to find in here this can become a black hole if you're not if you carry a lot of things and you can either dig around in there and look for stuff. Um, I did get a bag organizer um, for this bag. It's obviously not in there right now, but I got a red one from Amazon. I know there are other companies you can get them from like Samorga and all that, but I just went ahead and got it from Amazon to see if I would even like one. So this is the organizer that I got from Amazon and it fits perfectly in here. Um, so to get it in, you kind of have to squeeze it and then put it down and then push in like this to get it to go in. But once you get it in there, you can see how it really does kind of hold its shape a little bit better. And it's, instead of just being squishy, it's a little bit more firm. So I do like having the face shaper in there and I think it's really helpful. As far as wear and tear, so looking at the corners of my bag, I really don't have any wear and tear. I know some of the most common complaints about this bag is discoloration at the zipper. Um, I've only had this bag for about six months and so far it still looks brand new. Um, it has a really nice, easy to open zipper, it opens from both ends. Um, and makes it really easy to get in and out of. This bag is really cute just by itself, but also I got a little cute bag charm to go on it. So I leave this just kind of in the front here and dangling. Um, you can also put a bandeau and tie a bow or, you know, cover the handle or any of those kinds of things if you like doing that. Um, I've done that. I think it's really cute. There's some really great YouTube videos um, out there about how you can tie the bandeau and dress up your bag, which is really fun. The Speedy 30 is actually the original size um, that was made by Louis Vuitton. And as you know, um, Louis Vuitton originally started as a luggage company. And so um, the Speedy 30 was a great luggage piece and that's why they made it fold flat so you could use it when you're traveling and it was really easy to carry around. And then um, the Speedy 25 was actually made especially for Audrey Hepburn because she loved a Speedy design but just wanted it in a smaller bag. So that's where this originates from. And then the bandolier version was actually um, made recently. So that has been a nice addition to kind of make the Speedy a little bit of a modern bag. The Speedy now comes in all sorts of different patterns, different fabrics, different leathers, different sizes. They have all the way from like the nano speedies and then they've made sizes from all in between. Um, but I went with the Speedy 25 Mandolier and I have absolutely loved it. It has been a perfect addition to my wardrobe. It goes with everything being this neutral color. And I just found that it has, the wear and tear has been great. Um, and I was able to buy this in Hawaii. So for, if you didn't know, Hawaii actually has discounted. I mean, it's not that much discounted. It's probably like five to 10%, but five to 10% is a pretty good deal. 
Um, so I bought this in Hawaii. I was able to get it a little bit cheaper than retail price. And since then there's been a price increase. So I'm so happy that I bought it when I did. If you're looking for a stylish everyday bag that's very hard wearing, I'd say definitely go for this. Um, the Speedy is one of Louis Vuitton's iconic silhouettes, so it's never going to go out of style. It's been around forever. I love this bag, and I think it's absolutely worth buying, especially if you want something that's good for everyday use. I think that's this is perfect for that. If you want more videos like this, or talking about bags, or shoes, or perfume, or jewelry, or anything like that, um, then let me know in the comments below, and I'm happy to make any video that you want to see. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!